welcome to another exciting episode of Cooking with Seb. Tonight, it's a very special night, and I want you to be shh. Don't tell your friends. This is highly secret. This is top secret. Tonight, I'm going to make beer batter bologna and cheese sandwiches. Now, the whole thing about it, the secret part, is not the bologna and cheese fried, deep fried sandwiches. The part that's really secretive is the beer batter. Now, I know what you're thinking, so, but I can go and get my own. No, you can't get something that tastes this good. And trust me, all you need is one egg. It's been all sorts of messed up. And beer. You gotta have beer. If you don't have beer, how can you make beer better with beer? Er, okay, it's on YouTube, so everybody's seen it. But the fact of the matter is, it's my secret beer batter. And we're not just doing just plain old beer batter onion rings. No, we're doing some onion rings. Yes, of course. You can't make beer batter and not do onion rings. But we're doing one step further. We're gonna do beer batter bologna and cheese sandwiches. I know, I know you're like, whoa, that sounds really out there. That's, that's like, we out there and live the whatever you want to call it. But I'm telling you this, it's going to be the best and tastiest finger food you ever made. And I guarantee this will be something that you want to serve at the next party you have. Okay, now where were we? Okay, we had the egg. Egg has been mixed up. It's not like, quite like mixed up like you did with the omelette where you made it all fuzzy and stuff. No, it just has to be mixed. And then, got the beer. You need beer for the beer batter. Otherwise, it's not beer batter, right? So, what are we going to do? We got the egg and we got the beer. So, you see where the egg is. Um, let me adjust camera here. Alrighty, we're going to move this down a little bit here. Go over here. Alright, now. Alright, we're back over here. We got the egg and we got the beer. Now what we're going to do is you got half an egg. We're going to put in an equal amount of beer. Now it's going to foam up a bit. Don't worry about it. That's just the egg going, oh boy, beer. So you put a little bit more in there. All right, then you're good to go. Now you're going to put in the flour. The flour. The flour, the flour. The flour, the flour. And you take a spoon and put the flour in the egg and the flour in the flour. And you just put it in there. And, well, the approximate amount is what you want to do is mix it up. Now, as you've noticed, this whole thing has totally foamed up on me. Well, it's going to do that. That's what beer does. Now, you just keep mixing it around. And eventually the foam is going to go away. As the foam goes away, you just keep mixing it. Now, when the foam goes down, back down past the point of where if you added more fluid, it won't overflow so you just keep adding more flour roughly about two tablespoons at a time and then you beat it in keep beating it in beating it in beating it in yeah I know what you're thinking damn Sam that's more beating than I've done in the last month <laughs> I know I know that you just keep beating it in beating it in beating it in and you're gonna uh, do a little bit more flue the more flu you got, the better. What we're going for is consistency that is really thick. Okay? But the reason why we put in flour a uh, spoonful at a time is because as a spoonful at a time, it gets a little thicker, but you don't have all the lumps. Now, that's what you don't want. You don't want a lot of lumps. What you want is a nice, smooth, creamy paste. Now you just keep beating that in there and wishing it in and then when you get it to smooth again it's not quite thick enough. So you add more. 
Yeah, and you beat that in, and you smooth it in. Now what you want is a really thick consistency. Not so thick that it becomes like a, a bread. You, you want it to be, well, I'll show you here in a second. You keep on whisking it in, whisking it in, and then see how it th it's starting to thick. Yeah, starting to really stick to the fork. That's what you want. But it's not thick enough. So we're going to add another spoonful. Now, when you do this, it will last you a while. You can use it for onion rings. You can use it for, um, well, zucchini. You can use it for anything that you really want to fry. As a matter of fact, if you want to do a fish fry, this is good for fish. You want to do a chicken fry, it's good for chicken. It's good for anything. And what you want to do is just keep mixing it until you pull up the fork and you can't see the tongs anymore. See how you see the tongs? It's not quite thick enough. It has to be thick enough so that when you pull your fork, your mixing fork, you don't see the tongs anymore. And exact measurements, it's kind of hard to say. Like I said, one egg, add an equal amount of beer, and just keep adding the flour until when you pull the fork out there we go see how the tongs have pretty much disappeared you can see them in the back but you can't see them in the front but that's really thick see how thick that is that's about what you want you may want to go a little bit thicker for this recipe but for all intents and purposes I think yeah, this might be thick enough. I'm going to put a little bit more in there. Just for shits and giggles. Because, well, if you ain't giggling, then you're not cooking right. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Now we got it nice and thick. And I know what you're thinking. Oh, geez, Sev, what about them bologna sandwiches? Well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put you on hold. And you'll go ahead and uh, watch a, a commercial or so. And when you come back, I'm going to have the bologna sandwiches done. And they're going to be ready to go into this here dipping sauce. Because this here is the uh, uh, beer batter. It's beer batter. This, you can put onion ring. I already went through that, so I don't need to go through that again. I'm telling you this much. This, this stuff is really good so we're gonna be right back and then when we get right back then you're gonna have some sandwiches and you're gonna see how this is done but for all intents and purposes shh, this is a secret recipe beer batter this is the bomb put french fries in here and fry up the french fries oh it's delicious put onions in there it's delicious Put anything in here and just fry it up and it's delicious. See how nice and thick that is? That's what it has to be. It has to stick to whatever you put in there. So uh, a good way to check is to take an onion and put it in there. If it doesn't stick to the onion, it's not thick enough. Make it thick so that it sticks to the onion but not too thick that it becomes like uh, mm, bread. Or, well, like, dough, or, you know what I'm talking about. So, I'm going to see you in a little while, and next time we're going to be talking about oil.